finishing time. I'm just getting the gear put up, ready to put away. So I'll show you what we're up to now. So we're just getting the doorway done today. Uh, homework's done and concrete poured in. So on this one it's 20 centimetre thick because it's long. We'll put a lot of rebar in that one. Uh, now we're going to be tomorrow. Let's get this one done. And it's got a bit of a dog leg. Yeah, uh, for the lintel for above the door comes down and then the lintel for the window. So that's a two meter by 50 for the kitchen window. That's why I've been resting, but keeping an eye on things. I pretty much can walk now anyway without crutches. Yesterday we got this one done. This lintel is all done. And the same on here, so we can get this this room finished. Uh, we're starting on the plumbing now. That's not glued in yet. It's just to size things up. Uh, I've got a plumbing on this side to do. So that carries underneath to there, and then it comes down. That's all boxed in. And that's going to be boxed in on the, the plumbing. So it's going to be okay. And we'll just come on finish. So it'll be a frame and there. Smart board, concrete composite board with the camera finish. So in the bathroom here, plumbing for the uh, hand basin, plumbing for the toilet, and the shower unit. Yeah, so there's like a hot shower unit there, easy plumbing tap. So it's not in the middle, you don't see pipes running back and forwards. So it's got a ceiling in anyway, so and then an extractor. Make sure I don't forget to put the extract in. Uh, the steel work. Let's go and have a look at that. Now I can get back up the stairs. Yeah, so my accident was on Monday. Yeah, uh, Monday evening. Uh, to now it's Friday, so it was painful. I mean, still a bit painful, but obviously I'm taking medication to keep the pain down a bit but it's helping a lot so we changes the stairs around so it's just a long stair so it's a zigzag so I don't fall through again you see the gap there my leg went through and hung me up so the guys are been up for a couple of days and the steel but I really need them to hurry up because I've got my block team waiting to come in so there's the trusses, that's a three meter overhang there. Yeah, that's a three meter overhang that goes on the end there. Let's see one there. So I just can't wait, I mean, it'll not take them long now, once they get back on site. So where the gaps are there, I've got to make a form and then put in a self-leveling compound in. That holds a hell of a lot of weight. So I need to get on the lot. So the guys are knocking off now. So I'll show you more.
uh, PU roofing system. Now we'll get the roof installed. Got grey for the roof and then brown for the trim. This is like this. There's my servant coming with me, chair. Oh, what a good girl you are. Thank you. Right, let's go and see what the guys are doing here. <laughs> so this is for the septic tank and that's for the clear water tank there. It's uh, 2 meter 30 for the clear water. For the, then it runs off out along. So uh, that's all the pipes coming. So cutting it just shade because it gets hot in the daytime so I'm uh, going to be doing the plumbing connect up this is the control room so I'm going to mark out for the sockets and chase out that's going to be done tomorrow all the posts have been rubbed down ready for cap man that's all that done so we've just got the uh, Block team to come, the team to come to the and then we've got the block work to go in there, change the stairs. We've got some block work, uh, glass club block going up on the top of the window there, let a bit more light in, a bit, bit of their, their design. Same in the toilet. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, these guys have been doing a lot longer and they're more professional. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, yeah. So you got the portals. These guys know what they're doing on the end, even though it's on the high end slope. Showing the water runs in. Brilliant. Excellent. Sid Yard. Set the tank 1000 litre. Look for the tank, the lid. Uh, and that's the uh, bacteria, BioClean. This is what you put in to start your uh, septic tank off. DOS life. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. We want to check out my channel.
down down there. So they're putting some rubble in there because it's going to be concrete on for the septic tank. On this one they've got 20, nearly 30 centimetres of stone to put in then put the concrete rings in. Then we drill holes around the ring to spot like leverage. You can see some water there anyway. And then let's put the ring in place and fill around the outside with stone right up to the top. And that's your grey water. That one there, and that's your black water. Here what we've done, we've done the wire ties for when we do the double block. So that's what Pi did last week. Made a bit of a jig. jig. So we'll tie you all the blocks, every second block we'll put ties in every metre apart. I will stagger them every block high. This here is bone chop, some lead. There's ready mix uh, for rendering this one. That's green, green cement for your um, block work. Red cement for your concrete work. That's up there. Quite happy that's that's all our waste <laughs> so far. The wood we're going to recycle uh, for the next job. Take all the nails out. Uh, keep the steels there. That's that uh, drinking money. And uh, any scrap steel, what we sell, the stuff get for drinking. Up here, there's block glass, colored block glass up here. Um, you can see them on the toilet for the um, above the door, colored block glass, and then on here they want to put some vents in uh, here. Even though the door's going to be vented, but they want to put additional vents in. And on this, this all gets boxed in and hidden, so you don't see any pipe work. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's the roof on. Now we're just putting the trim in. The side trim and the front trim. Got one panel left over. So they're finishing off in the support. I'm absolutely over the moment with this team. Absolutely fantastic they are. Uh, very thorough. Very beautiful job. Always clean and tidy. Right, now we're putting the grey water tanks in, or the rings in for the grey water. Anyway, so this one we're putting the concrete base in. So it's 15 centimetre concrete uh, reinforced for the black water dust tank. And for the grey water we've got the stone down. Let me get past and I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got 30 centimetre stone there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll have 30 centimetre uh, soak away. The ring goes in, then we we'll drill holes in the ring. Then we we'll put stone all the way around on the outside as well to help for leaching. And there's a pipe that runs off that way. So the pipe comes from here, connects into this one for the uh, overflow of the black, goes into the grey and off. But there's also a vent breather pipe on this on the separate. You can move in mine. Okay. for yes, sure. So all grow. I mean, even Martin Mali has been busy replanting coconut and some vaxes. Oh, yeah, or Bismarck. Yeah, I think it's small Bismarck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot of coconut palms in. So we've taken a lot of the trees out, kept the fruit trees, which that's exactly what I would do. Uh, we've done another well down there, where well, they have our hand. Uh, so we're going to get that set up for them. That's going to be for the irrigation for the landscape. While I was in Padilla, um, I picked up the, the controller 6 zone, uh, the control panel and the solenoid valves for them for to do the setup for the irrigation for the landscape. So, 
Oh go. Oh yeah, absolutely beautiful to the back. Ini kelang. Make sure kelang na, kelang. This fella he works for the local builders, which is he's always coming and helping out a little bit. Yeah, that. Well, do well for a follower. Anyway, me, me legs are a bit better now. This one's still a little bit fat like, but I'm walking around without pain. So, oh, cool. So I've had the drone up a few times today in the process of them putting the roof in. So just to give you a good good look at how they installed it. It's amazing to see. Look at the amount of steel work on that. I always like to do overkill. Where they've only tack welded in certain places, now they're going to go around finishing all the welds. Fantastic. I mean, that's a big overhang, isn't it? Three meters. Well, that's what they want. Three meter overhang. I would do the same. On the initial drone, they had force coming down here because they wanted the three meter overhang and they put it in. So we had to change how the roof was going to be built. And that's why we've got these uh, Belfast beams sticking out more, uh, much thicker. Before it was just like uh, two uh, five inch, six inch uh, steels put it together. And then they had a post coming in for weeks to, you know, we, we can change it, we put these Belfast beams in, um, or trusses, as you call it. Um, so we can get the three meter overhang without any posts. But on this, what, on these two posts for the Labian, or the deck area, is actually going to be out to the front, in line with that. But we've managed to set them back for the way we've designed the roof. I think it'll look better anyway. So keep in mind when we do the house plot work. The last one. Okay, okay. 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 Very helpful guys. So here, adding a bit more support on, on the back end, uh, so from the floor to those three meters to the plate, so we can weld all that up in the back. How's he doing? Walking with the ladders on the edge. <coughs> Help. 
healthy safe, yeah?